Hey Gun RPG fans, well as you know this is going to be my final video for about three to four months. Uh, either tomorrow night or the day after I'm disconnecting with my service provider and going offline. And as many of you already know one of the reasons for this is I want to save up money to go to the Distant Worlds Orchestra being held in April. The other reason is I want to save up for a new computer. Uh, this laptop I'm using doesn't cut it anymore. I'm very surprised it can even let me record videos, but I think that's more to do with the YouTube uploader than my computer. And I want to get like a better webcam. If not, I want to finally invest into finally getting my HD cam to work, see if I can finally dump footage without it freezing on me. So hopefully when I return, uh, it, it will be the end of videos like this. My new videos will be more high quality. I want to invest in getting a capture card so I can finally uh, record gameplay footage. And yeah, I just want to finally get into doing reviews and retrospectives. And this is something I've always wanted to do before I began my channel. What I've been doing ever since I've opened my channel is pretty lazy, to be honest. I pretty much record, upload, I don't even edit. Uh, it's a very lazy way of doing things and it's not because I don't know how to edit I love editing and I miss it very very much that's one of the reasons why I want to get back into um, making really good high quality videos the other reason I want to get a good computer and a good setup because I want to get into podcasting uh, I've wanted to do a podcast for a very long time ever since I became a big fan of Retronauts and Active Time Battle on uh, oneup.com and I, I thought to myself I knew that I could do a really good RPG themed podcast and I know there's a few out there but I reckon that I basically want to put it out there to all my subscribers that and all my friends there's a good chance that I will ask you to come on the podcast if you're willing to talk about uh, all good things RPG basically how it's going to work is each week we're going to talk about a certain game or series like for example one week we might talk about Dragon Quest another week we might talk about Fire Emblem you know another week we might talk about East and I know for a fact I'll probably go on for three hours long with me at the helm and you know and most of I just want to talk about RPGs that don't get any recognition or any notice so can just expand people's minds and get people interested and that's what I really want to do. Uh, I just want to give a big thank you again to my friend Murigo553 for lending me on his podcast. That was one of the coolest things I ever did and I gotta say I enjoyed d doing that more than recording videos. Not to say I hate doing this, I love doing these videos and having you guys enjoy them but I'm pretty much gonna do less videos and want to focus more on the podcast when I return so that that's what's pretty much in the works right now also I do want to see if I can attempt to make at least an episode of the RPG Hunter like I promised uh, I've been calling around and unfortunately no business wants me or anyone else bring their camera in it's pretty bad here in Australia um, everyone is very reserved when it comes to that sort of thing they just don't let anyone in you you won't be able to get into the shopping complex with a camera these days it's just that bad and there's not really any uh, how the Americans refer to this as mom and pop businesses uh, that would welcome that sort of exposure which is quite sad but I'll figure out some way to get around it Alrighty guys, uh, one thing I do want to do before I go is I want to give a shout out to all these wonderful YouTubers here. Uh, these people are people I admire and they are my friends and people that I talk to on and off. So first off, I want to be, give a big shout out to the all gen gamers which consist of Happy Console Gamer, Pete Dorr, uh, Gamestay 81 and Jason Heine. They've got one of the best podcasts out there. I listen to it religiously. I'm pretty sure half my subscribers already know about them. Uh, if you don't, I recommend you 
uh, subscribing to all their channels and they do have an all gen gamers channel now so definitely subscribe to that I'll put the links down below uh, if you especially love RPGs I do recommend going to Pete door and happy console gamers channel they've got great taste in games and like a lot of RPGs uh, Pete Dorr did a really good video where he talked about great RPGs to get into if you've never played an RPG before and that's a really good video so I'll put all those links down below next up is a awesome youtuber by the name of Kage137 who's only just recently got back into making videos uh, I've talked on and off of him for the last month and a bit and he's a real cool guy he seems to know a lot about RPGs and he's a big fan of Castlevania so that's huge in my book so definitely check out Kage137 channel next up is another cool youtuber by the name of Shadow Elite 08 uh, I absolutely love his videos he did a really good video on uh, where Square Enix is at that's fantastic we share the same opinions uh, and he did a really awesome video where he vented his frustration to Namco on why there were no Tales games and what's awesome about that is about a month later uh, Namco announced Tales of Graces F and then he uploaded a congratulation video which is quite awesome I must admit so definitely check him out he's a great guy next up is Jay Frieden and he does a show called the RPG Fanatic uh, great reviews uh, he's got a great head on his shoulders he, he knows what he's talking about uh, he pretty much gets all the facts right uh, very interesting opinions definitely check out his channel Next up is Mario and Sonic 1986 and this YouTuber actually lives in the same township I do which is pretty mad and crazy. Um, I often PM him if there is any games that is in the vicinity because while I can't collect games I might as well help out someone else that is so he's an awesome guy definitely check out his channel. He's pretty much into collecting anything. Uh, he's got a great collection of games definitely check his channel out next up is Kumal1002 uh, he has a fantastic collection the only downside is he's he, he lives in Japan and he only speaks Japanese so if you don't know Japanese you're gonna be stuck with understanding what's going on but pretty much he's showing off pieces of his collection and it is truly a sight to behold it's just amazing definitely check out his collection on his channel next up is a youtuber I have plugged twice already I will do it a third time before I leave and that's Aerodynamic definitely check out his channel he's got some great videos he's got an awesome Square Soft collection Square Enix collection definitely check it out next up is a youtuber that I used to watch way before I started up my channel he was one of the few people years ago that kind of specialized in the RPGs and he still does to this day a uh, great guy has fantastic taste in games and most people know him as probably one of the biggest level 5 fans around and that is Benzo8686 just great guy check out his channels he does a lot of reviews on certain games he's got a great collection and he shows off a lot of cool swag from level 5 so definitely check it out next up is a really cool youtuber and like Benzo I used to watch his videos a lot before I start up my channel and I want to give him a big thank you because he's pretty much had my channel on his recommendation list for about three months and I, I kind of believe that it's because of him and a few others that I've got most of my subscribers and I'm referring to in this instance is Splatter Trigger. Uh, great guy, awesome collection. He's a fellow fan of the E series uh, and most people already know him as probably one of the biggest working designs fans around. Uh, definitely check out his collection. It is absolutely awesome. Next up, and I, I, I believe that I can't get away with not mentioning this YouTuber because one she's my first subscriber and two she's family and that is Ezra Dark Angel if you want to know what she does she plays Lord of the Rings online and her channels about her band 
uh, recreating music and they played in real time in Lord of the Rings Online and it sounds actually really good so definitely check out her videos and support her okay next up is a real cool guy he's got some fantastic opinions I've always enjoyed his videos and that is Shintai123 and what's really cool is his next video is going to be a talk about RPGs with yours truly so definitely go to his channel his next video sooner or later will be me and him just talking about RPGs in general various things uh, it's a really cool discussion I had a lot of fun doing it so um, definitely check it out and I want to say a big thank you to Shintai once more for letting me be a part of that okay I've got one more youtuber to uh, give a big shout out to and that is my good friend Marugo 553 definitely check out his channel he's a English teacher in Japan and he's got a fantastic collection we kinda have the same taste in games with some games we may not and we talk about that a lot um, of course I did a podcast with him I did my first podcast ever and that was one of the coolest things ever um, he does a lot of great reviews on games uh, he's doing a lot of live streaming now and that's actually pretty fantastic like he streamed the last story and he streamed Xenoblade and those are two games I really want to come out I want to thank him for giving me the opportunity to see those games because it has really sparked my interest just that load more I should say but most of all he's a fellow Falcom fan and whenever we have too much to talk about Falcom so um, I'll definitely miss having our chats uh, I shall be back and hopefully there'll be much more to talk about one thing I should just tell you guys before I go is I won't be completely gone from YouTube I won't be uploading videos however once or every week or every fortnight I will probably log on to like a computer you know in the public like in a cafe or a library and I'll just check any messages that you guys want to lead I'm gonna leave messages for other channels so I, I'm still gonna keep in touch but it's just gonna be um, rarer I should say well, anyway guys that's all I've got to say all I've got to say to you is take care play some awesome RPGs and I shall be back peace out